Today, we're going to practice determining which metric unit of length is most appropriate. So, there are different metric units of length, the smallest of which is millimeters. They're very, very tiny. And then, up from that, you have centimeters and meters and kilometers. There are others in there, but those are the most common. So if I have a fork and I want to know how long it is, do you think I would use 15 millimeters or 15 centimeters? A millimeter is tiny, like a sliver of a fingernail. Centimeters are bigger than that. So which one would be better for the length of a fork? Centimeters would. Which is a better estimate for the height of a person? 170 centimeters or 170 meters? Well, let's put it this way. If we're talking about meters and we compare it to something that we're familiar with, such as feet, a meter is similar, not exact, but similar to three feet. One meter is similar to three feet. So which would make more sense? 170 centimeters or 170 meters? Centimeters. Centimeters is closer to inches. Again, not exact, but closer to. Which is the better estimate for the length of a farm? Farms are big huge. So which is bigger? Kilometers or kilometers or meters? Which one's going to be bigger? Kilometers. You use meters put together to make kilometers. Which is a better estimate for the length of a bus? 10 centimeters or 10 meters? Now remember, Centimeters are smaller, meters are longer. It goes millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers. That's smallest to largest. So which would work better for the length of a bus? 10 meters. Good job. Which is a better estimate for the length of a car key? A car key, is that big or small? It's small. So remember, we go centimeters, so remember we go millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers. So which one would work for shorter, centimeters or meters? Centimeters, that's more appropriate. Which is a better estimate for the height of a spacecraft? So something that would go into outer space, a rocket, a space shuttle. Which would be better, centimeters or meters? Again, millimeters is the smallest. And then we have centimeters is the next smallest. Meters and kilometers. So which one would be more appropriate to measure the height of a space shuttle or a spacecraft? Meters, good job. Centimeters is similar to inches, so that's small. Which is a better estimate for the distance between here and the next town? Think about it. If I'm going to another town, that's pretty far. Might have to get in a car or a bus some way to get to another place. So which one is going to make more sense? 20 meters or 20 kilometers? Kilometers because it's long, it's big. Which is better, a better estimate for the length of a book? 20 centimeters or 20 millimeters? If we're talking about a book, and you might have a book near you, 
which is more appropriate? Remember, millimeters, use 10 millimeters to make a centimeter. So which is better? Centimeters, nice job. Which is a better estimate for the length of a screw? A screw that you put in wood or metal to keep something in place. Would I use four meters or four centimeters? Remember, millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers. Greatest is kilometers, millimeters is the smallest. Which makes more sense here for a screw? Four meters or four centimeters? If it's four meters, that is a huge screw. And the house that it's being used in is going to be for a giant. So four centimeters is more appropriate. Which is a better estimate for the height of a door? Two kilometers or two meters? Now, what do we use kilometers for? Measuring what? The distance between what? Cities, between cities going very far. You need to travel. Was that something appropriate for the height of a door that you walk through, a doorway, or a door that you open or close? No, so that means meters is more appropriate. You did a great job.